It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Buccaneers and the Colts. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. It's the National Football League, presented by EA Sports. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Brandon Gunn joined here in Indianapolis by Charles Davis. Well, CD, these Colts, they seem to be onto something a few years back. They had the NFL's leading rusher and Jonathan Taylor. But last year, a big fall, down to 4-12-1. And, and they want to get back to what they had a few seasons ago, as you alluded to. Can they get Jonathan Taylor going again on the ground, get their offensive line going? And their defense certainly has to play a whole lot better than it did in 2022. And then for the visiting box, you know, all of a sudden, Super Bowl 55 feels like it was a long time ago. Tom Brady retired. Some of the stalwarts of that team have moved on. They did win the NFC South last year, but they did so with a losing record at 8-9. and nine. And sometimes when you have a chance to begin again, other people emerge and play at a level that you don't expect. And that's what Tampa Bay needs from this team in 2023. And the punter, Rigoberto Sanchez, ready to go. And we are underway from Lucas Oil Stadium. And this taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here are the Buccaneers ready to go on offense with a new man at the helm here for 2023 in his sixth season now in the NFL, Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. Baker going to throw this right away. It's caught by Mike Evans. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. This ball complete to Trey Palmer. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's good for a Buccaneer first, a pickup of 12 yards. Now Mayfield. And that's complete, it's Chris Godwin. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Now a second and two. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. Right back to Chris Godwin. And Godwin going to have a box first down as he'll get this up to midfield. It's a pickup of six. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4 of 4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. And a dump off to White. Well, now a stoppage, and it looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. A quick throw caught by Godwin. 
That'll give him eight that time. And now we've got a third down and three. Well, that's not just his first, not his second already, his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, they're not hiding who their central focus is on offense. Charles, he already now has four receptions here on this opening drive. And I know people who are watching the game are thinking, did they forget about him in the defensive game plan? But it's actually been the opposite. They're giving him a lot of attention, but he's been very creative and savvy in his route running and finding seams and openings in order to create these completions. Meanwhile, Mayfield's throw on target to Godwin here. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. And so far, a very nice, methodical opening drive. This has the feel of a scripted drive that they rehearsed perfectly all week long, and now they're executing it on game day. Script looks good so far. Mayfield with it once more. That's going to be caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 25 yards that time. And oftentimes we think about statement drives in the second halves of games, especially in the fourth quarter. But here, it's happening early. A definite statement. They've held on to the ball for a healthy portion this first quarter already. And now after that complete, Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bucs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me, I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game, then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. This fielded right at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Colts offense set to go to work, and they're led by a guy who's bounced around a bit the last few years, hoping to find a home with Indianapolis, Gardner Minshew. And how about this young man? Took the NFL world by storm as a six-round rookie, signature mullet, mustache, but 21 touchdowns for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Great personality, and everyone gravitates towards this guy. Teammates love to win with a quarterback who leads them like that, and fans love to root for a guy who seems just like them. They run with the All-Pro from a couple of years ago, Jonathan Taylor. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Second down, another run with Taylor. Oh, good move. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, Oftentimes, it's not a very successful play. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. 
An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am, I, am I out of touch a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. All right, grease board, heck, computer, exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop them on the first drive defensively. And Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. And take it right on the 30. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Now, a third round pick a year ago. Here's Rashad White. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Mayfield to throw it. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown. Go back out on defense and completely shut them down to force a three and out. A fourth down, here's Jay Camarda on to punt for the Bucs. The deep to return is Josh Downs. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. A run on first down, but it's not going to get them much. Maybe a yard and that's all. Well, give them credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run and they set up to stuff the run and then execute it. They work now on second and nine. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Left side, he finds Pierce. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Here's Minshew. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Colts first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there, and they get the first down. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead, a give to Taylor. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. Throwing on second down now, Minshew. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Minshew sets to throw. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. 
That's Kalijah Kansi in to get him down. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and they will take over first and 10. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run. Went with straight-ahead pursuit and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. Well, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Now Minshew. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Now a second and 10. Now back to throw. He'll get this one complete there to Pittman. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay inbounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. It'll be Minshew again. And did he get the feet down? Yes, touchdown! Michael Pittman, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Colts are an extra point away from evening this one up. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. DeForest Buckner using that size to force his way in there and make the stop behind the line. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. They go quickly here out to Moore. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll go up the middle with White. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Play fake, Mayfield. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Now Mayfield. And this will be incomplete. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now back to the ground game with White. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Mayfield. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they've got it with a first and ten. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. And we'll pause here for an injury. I believe that's a running back. Yeah, that's Rashad White who's shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Throwing Mayfield. He completes it to Evans. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it brings up third and five now.
Here's Mayfield. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. He will push his way down to about the 14. Tackle made by Zaire Franklin. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. Second down and another run with Edmonds. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. To throw Mayfield. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Cade Otten, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Bucs have taken the lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. Just drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And Kate Otten capped things off with a touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here's Michael Pittman and the rest of this offense getting set for the upcoming drive. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. They're going to be stopped up on this first down run. He might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. He'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alec Pierce, 81 yards. And the Colts are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play, and just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well, because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and we are tied at 14. Tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. 
And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Bucks ready to take over once again. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier. Trying to keep him in the rhythm. On second down, this is Edmonds. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. On third down, Mayfield. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. He's put up numbers in this one by pushing the envelope a bit whenever he could with deeper throws. Well, let's play a little philosophy here. Some plays it works, sometimes they're ready for you. And that time, they were on guard, incomplete. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Indianapolis offense ready to go again. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job, and Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie, defense does its job, gets the ball right back, and their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs, and they have to officiate block and charge. And a boy showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center that knows, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field. And that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. First and 10, Taylor now. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Now a throw to the end zone on first 
first down, but it winds up incomplete. The good signal calls would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Out of the gun is Minshew. have broken our tie as they take the lead. Well, that connection, it looked like they maybe had some free play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something free play and they got it done there. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown on the return here's Tompkins and he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20 so out come the Bucks now they'll look for a drive to tie this up down 21 14 as they have it first and 10 Mayfield looks to throw. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. A coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting into the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Mayfield off the play fake. And that nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. Now remember, he had a pick earlier, but couldn't reel that one in. The name of the game is always on defense, put pressure on the quarterback. And that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. Trying to pick it up on. Oh, Edmonds has it knocked loose. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they will take over at the 29 yard line. He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much. Trying his best, as you noted, to get there. Sometimes that extra effort can cost you. Colts taking the field again, running back Jonathan Taylor at center stage. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Now Minshew on first and 10. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. He got 29 yards that time. They go with the empty set there. Five receivers in the formation. Normally, you want to have a running back in the block, but in this case, he's lined up to the right, and he ends up getting the football. A lot of confusion calls defensively, and it turns into a big play. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Gardner Minshew keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Colts are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in. Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, fullback, 
<laughs> takes you a while before you get to the quarterback. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Running back Chase Edmonds gets set to start this next series. He's just been looking for some space. Yeah, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try to mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, him. don't take him totally out of the game. Mayfield. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They'll get 34 yards there. Well, they've looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps, and delivers a big play here for this offense. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. They'll run on first down, Edmonds. And boy, this defense again, really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. He's already put it on the ground once in this first half. There are no gain, just struggling to get going. Yeah, and what he needs right now, a dose of confidence, which means his guys have to chop a hole, a big one for him, give him a chance to run a little bit and gain some of that confidence back. He didn't get it on that carry. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. What an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Now Mayfield. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And 
this throw is going to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Oh, first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked up by Jamel Dean. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. Now the Buccaneers offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they start in the best of all positions. First and goal. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Now a run straight ahead with Edmonds. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. And he's got it. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. And now Edmonds going to be stopped up short. He did not get there. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal? Well, if this defense can hold him to a field goal here, what a win that would be. Not just a win on the possession, but psychologically take over the ball game. But this started with first and goal. So they were in four down territory right from the beginning. I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. From the gun, Mayfield. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. Mike Evans. One-yard touchdown reception. And the Bucs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. It sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. 
So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Let's one go downfield for Pierce. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Minshew throwing on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Throwing on first down is Minshew. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And that's a wise decision. Remember, he threw the pick on the last drive. This time he says, I'm not forcing one. I'm just getting it out of here. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Again, Minshew looking to throw. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. They need 18 yards here on third down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. A strong run there, and for a team and a coaching staff that says they're consistently striving for a solid running game, they love those plays. Yeah, that one didn't net them a first down, but isn't it the type of play that you write down on your sheet? That worked pretty well. Make sure you come back to it, especially in a key situation. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both of these Coach. offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. It was a strong first half for the well-traveled quarterback, Gardner Minshew. He was downright amazing with three touchdown passes, and another one scored on the ground for good measure. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. In the offense, ready to go once again, and we'll get another look at Alec Pierce. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. But that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. From the 28, it's second and five. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29.
Here is third down and four. Minshew sets to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion. And that should get him off the field with a three and out. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Mayfield's throw taken in by Evans here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. And you're starting to sense the momentum possibly changing just a little here. You get the touchdown in your previous drive, then you force a punt, and now this is a good positive play here to start this drive. And you can just sense the tide starting to turn here in a one-score game. First down, here's White. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Mayfield now. And he is caught. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one good for 24 yards. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. White running to the left. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at him with the same play. And Evans pulls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, extra point away from tying things up. That's exactly how they drew it up on the board. Chase, 
So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That complete to Downs. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Minshew. Let's one go downfield for Pierce. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. Here's second and 10. Here's Minshew. That's complete to Pierce. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Here's third and six. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? Yeah, they should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because when they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Throwing on second down now, Minshew. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you can nick downfield. On that play, they run successful. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Back to throw here. And he'll find Pittman. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. From the gun, it's Taylor. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Stuck for a loss by the safety Antoine Winfield Jr. He's got exactly what you're looking for, the ability to not just diagnose a play and quickly, but to make a play as well. Nice job there tackling him for a loss. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman that time, but now it'll be third down. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he 
He's got a man complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Again, it'll be Taylor. Jonathan Taylor, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have broken our tie as they take the lead. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and they will take a seven-point lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you've just watched your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Second down, Mayfield. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Going right side is White to about the 48-yard line. Second and seven. To throw Mayfield to Evans on the slant. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 37. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 30-yard line. 
Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and three. Mayfield. Quick throw, fighting Mike Evans. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 16. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and ten. They run straight ahead here with White, and the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. You can tell he was searching for a hole, trying to find a running lane. They're just was none to be found. Yeah, that's because the big guys in the middle are just clogging everything up. Might want to think about stretching the line splits out a little bit. Make those guys cover a little bit more ground. Maybe you'll find some more room for your runners. On second down, they'll run with White. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. On third down, Mayfield. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Indianapolis. It's Buccaneer football, but they've got work to do. They find themselves behind here to start the fourth quarter. And his kick is indeed good, and that'll bring him back within four. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. Oh, good looking return set up here. Colts football and Michael Pittman, helmet back on and ready to go. He's been a load for them to handle defensively. I know that much. Well, look at him. He's got seven catches on the game, and he's starting to shred them a little bit because. Not only is he catching them, he's picking up good yardage, keeping the chains moving, ball control, you name it. This big guy, what did you say? He's been a load for them to handle? That's right. He's Agreed. Been, this has seven catches, as you said, over 100 yards. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And this offense on third down today, five out of nine thus far. This is third and nine. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And that is incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. It has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. 
Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start here with a handoff to White, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now Mayfield. That one behind his receiver and incomplete. The intended target was Chris Godwin, and it's third down. Mayfield to throw it. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And it's fielded at the 34. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Indy set to go on offense once more. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10 at their own 42. Quick throw out wide and Pierce has got it. So nothing doing there and that'll bring up second down. If you're a wide receiver and they call a screen pass, you're counting on some people being out in front of you blocking, but that play was well diagnosed by the guys on the defensive side of the ball and they got there and swarmed and finished off the play. On second down, Minshew delivers another one to Pierce. And he's brought down. 14 yards that time for number 14. Just more of the same here. It's back-to-back -back catches for him to start the drive. They've looked his way quite a bit and with good reason as this duo picks up yet another first down. They give to Taylor out of the gun. 74 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's gonna break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Second down and four. Minshew sets to throw. That one finds Pierce right side. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 28. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Throwing on first down is Minshew. His throw Alec Pierce, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. They'll drop to throw. And he's got Pierce. Inside the five yard line. Call that a very strong gain of 24. 
<laughs> I can't help but chuckle a little bit because at this point, it can't be a surprise to anyone in the building who's going to get the ball. They just keep feeding him over and over, and he just keeps on delivering. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Out of the gun is Minshew. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Taylor will score. Touchdown, Indianapolis. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line, and here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Meanwhile, Mayfield's throw complete to Otten. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. They'll try the right side here with White. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. From the 38 now, here's second down and two. Mayfield down. He gets it over the middle to Palmer. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On first and ten, Mayfield. A quick throw there is incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time. And it's second down. Here's Mayfield. Now throw out wide, gonna be incomplete. 
That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way, full steam, and he broke that one up. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Mayfield looks to throw. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Quiddy Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line. A third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield in coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. And that one, an absolute backbreaker. A chance to get back within a score, couldn't do it. Yeah, that one went begging, as they say, right? There's the opportunity, and it was missed. But all hope's not lost just yet. But boy, getting back within one score would have been a powerful motivator for their defense to take the field with. And the Colts now, they're ready to get the football back. And even with the missed field goal that we just saw, they still have to try and erase a two-score fourth-quarter deficit. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 44. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And he's brought down. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence? And they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Now Minshew. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. First and 10, Taylor now. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. 87 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. What's the deal, y'all? Let's work. Keep our boys. Let's go, fellas. Let's do what we do every day. Get something together. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try and run, Taylor. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively.
The Colts send out their new kicker for 2023, Matt Gay, for the field goal. From the right hash and a bit of a tight angle. Gay's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So Mayfield and the Bucks down by two touchdowns. A little under a minute 50 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Mayfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Passing lanes tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies. It's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. They'll try again here. Second and ten. the draw here's white and he's corralled at the 40 but not before picking up eight and once again leverage wins the offensive line lower than the defensive front they moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball the sound reverberating here in the dome this is third down mayfield that's complete to Otten, and he is going to have a box first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. They didn't need much. They didn't get much, but what they did get was enough for a first down. Well, they need to score and score quick. One timeout remaining. Final minute, first and ten. He's going to let it fly. He's got it at the 15. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Here's first and 10. Mayfield to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Here now, second and 10 from the 13. Mayfield. This is caught. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Now first and goal. Here's Baker. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. Now second down and a few inches. To throw, Mayfield. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And now defensively in the two-minute drill, the big key to me, make sure you understand your assignments, and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds, get them on the ground. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. 
One last shot for Mayfield here. Being chased, feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles E's defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency, not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them.